Welcome back, everybody. This is to Laris Reborn. Things are not looking good for our empire. We've we've now officially pretty much made enemies with everybody, thanks to a particular fallen empire. We don't really know which one. Telling everybody that we are some sort of intergalactic threat. I'm starting to think that maybe maybe we're the reason why we've got the Embidden, the Pretharian Scourge, and the Contingency all in one galaxy who knows what's next definitely not good the embiddens spreading out but they've they've seemed to slow down just a bit i'm wondering if they'll run into a fallen empire eventually we've got these two fallen empires fighting each other the contingency hopefully the dar defense protocol is going to fight these guys but it's kind of what we're dealing with we need to start preparing ourselves for other other empires trying to kill us as well and that's going to be taking that fortification route, which I did, did get the bonus research for. So I think we should get a lot of bonuses in, in some of these fortresses and stuff. You can see this one's actually got like crazy amounts of uh, armor hit points, ship haul points, armor hit points um, for ship modifiers and uh, for actual um, starbase modifiers and stuff. It's just it's really, really good. So. We're, we're going to want to do that. We're going to want to get uh, defense platforms, stuff like that. Try to beef ourselves up. It's going to require alloys. So I'm going to go ahead and and, uh, and go ahead and do that there so I can buy some alloys. Because I want to get some alloys first and foremost for this system here. Which is another choke point to kind of my main part. So these two here are outside here and I can't do anything about that. But if I can secure them, just these main systems here, I can go for a tall build. And I don't even have to upgrade any of the other ports. And I don't think the DAR um, defense protocol is going to give me too hard of a time. Because unfortunately, I'd have to build here and here, which I could probably eventually do. But I'm kind of being forced into a tall build here. And I don't have much of a choice but to do that. So let's head to this star base here and upgrade it to a star port. And I've got 165 alloys left over. These guys should actually be able to spend those on upgrading and there they go so they're starting to upgrade now that's good and uh forgot to give them uh that guy so we'll go ahead and do that now he's got a little bit of siege there some shocks and flexibility accuracy i love this this must be a mod i don't know which one it is the what who's building alien megastructure built who's building me who's doing this why so early in the game? The artificial kernel? Is it like a... Uh, I don't even know. Oh my god, it's these guys. They're building megastructures. <sighs> Extra galactic danger. Oh no, did the fallen empires get it too? These guys did not get it. But the other fallen empires actually did get it. The Dadar defense protocol did not. Oh my god, that's like life-saving, actually, that they didn't get that. How about these guys? They totally got it. That's crazy. Okay, so luckily, one fallen empire out of all of them does not completely hate us right out the gate. So that's really good. Aside from that, everything else is just going to be a mess. Now, these guys aren't moving their ships yet, which I guess is good. And we're looking at a pretty split difference in terms of... Luckily, my technology level might actually keep them at bay. The non-believers are fighting amongst themselves. Okay, the game froze up there and scared me for a second. War declaration, the Disc Crusaders, the Plif Plaf Reclaimers, they're going to war with each other. That actually caused the whole game to freeze up. It was like... I'm like sitting there all quiet because I was like, oh my God, it's going to... Okay, is the game going to crash? What's going to happen here? Ever since the awakening of the Plif Plaf and their ancient dis rivals, the two giants have been at odds, skirmishing and jockeying for influence, probing each other's might. This resulted in a series of increasingly tense or terse, yeah, tense confrontations, finally erupting in an open battle between a Plif Plaf fleet and their disc counterparts in a remote system. The conflict has now escalated into full blown war. And yeah, we will stand with, oh no, the Disc Crusaders have our allegiance. We will not take sides in this conflict. They will both fall to our might. We're not going to take sides. Not all of the younger races chose to join without a side in the war, raging between the Elder Empire. Some, like ourselves, have remained neutral, but are facing the prospect of facing the Elder Menace alone if the war should come their way. 
A league of non-aligned powers has formed under the leadership of, of the unidentified empire with the explicit goal of opposing both sides in the war. Joining this league would almost certainly mean war with the awakened empires, but at least we would have allies to stand by our side instead of facing them alone. So this is interesting because these are empires we haven't met yet. So I could join this league. It's probably not a bad idea, but it's going to, it's going to, it's going to throw me into war with these guys. Where are they? <laughs> Let's decide first. We've got the these guys down here, the Disc Crusaders. They're they're far enough away. I don't think they're going to get to us. We've got the Plif Plaf over here. I'm not even worried about them at all. If I join the League, it might have some of these guys next to me. And if that's the case, then it would kind of protect me a little bit more. But if they're both, uh, if they're both in on it, let's see. We can actually see. Dominion under the Disc Crusaders. Oh, so they joined the Disc Crusaders. They're at war with all these other empires. What about these guys down here? Oh my God, of course. The Plif Plaf Reclaimers. They're at war with the... Oh my God, the Disc Crusaders. This is nuts. This is just so nuts. Hey, I can see the other nations here. I feel like I don't want to get involved. It'll put me into war with one of these guys. It's just simply too dangerous. Let's just let these guys fight it out. I don't see... Oh my. I don't see any reason in taking part in this. And we've got transmissions coming in because of federations being formed. The Ambidden are spreading up there, I see. Okay, this is going to kind of be like this for a minute as we slowly find all of these races. Thanks to the, the war. They're all such small little baby empires, too. God. Alien Compassion Committee. Get the heck out of here. Yeah, we're just going to slowly find everybody now. I can see that. Come on. Really? Is this because of the... Why is this... The League of Non-Aligned Powers. So all these people are joining. Alright, I gotta deal with my own stuff right now. Do we have... Okay, we're almost done with this city district. Nothing's in the positive yet. But we've got this done. And I'd like to get that built... So we need a hundred for that. Have a feeling that alloys are going to become very rare. All things considering. What is wrong? We need more alloys. I'm going to purchase a few more so I can get my ships. Completely done here so what kind of nations did we find they're scattered all over the place some of them next to things like this gateway here um, next to the contingency next to whatever this is obliterated dude they're all little tiny empires is this one completely severed from everybody they almost look like they are, but I don't think that's the case. It's not, I think. Well, I actually don't know. Oh. Hmm. Anybody next to the Petharian Scourge? These guys. So they'll be fighting them soon. What about the Unbidden? Nobody that we've seen yet. Contingency here. We got this contingency. 
Most of these ones have actually spawned away from people, which is interesting. You know what? And I'm going to use my alloys, since I do have some of them, to go ahead and build here. And get that rolling so I can get that other planet colonized. And I've still got my colony ship. And I'm going to move that bad boy right here. More people we're learning about. This is going to continue for a while. Our ships have been improved. <sighs> what? Okay, <laughs> that's funny. Synthetic infiltrators lowered to the contingency were recently discovered on Jade attempting to pass off as Rakari. Unfortunately, or fortunately, their crude disguises consisted of little more than layers of rubber worn on top of their metallic frames. They are quickly identified by planetary security who disposed of them after a brief but violent firefight, which is kind of cool. Large amounts of explosives were found among their remains. Who we got lucky. Yeah, we did get lucky. Okay, our fleet has been upgraded. Almost 400 firepower. That's, that's severely lacking compared to what other... Nations are wielding, but I could go park it next to one of these, I guess. And I'm going to do that. So let me grab this and this. And I actually would like to I'll pause real quick because this just keeps going. I would actually like to uh, get something that would make it cheaper for them to park here, which I know is, I think, crew quarters. Yeah, dock ship upkeep definitely down. If I want to park them at one of these areas. Or I can get it right here. Do I have crew quarters already at this one? I actually do. So I can just park it here. We got the energy collector as well. We can get a couple other modules. Or we can get another energy collector. Um, space factory. Space factory. Foundry put us in the positives for alloys. All right, let's park both of our ships by this so we can make sure we're getting that bonus. Dear Lord. The game will not stop until we learn of the existence of all 99 empires in the galaxy. I had hoped that some of these empires would at least be slowed down some or dead by the time we reach this point no orders ooh crap um could you do this it'll take extra time why don't you go ahead and, and uh, do a little bit more exploring we've been trying to do that for a bit my other science ships excavating that archaeological site How's that going? I know we haven't had a lot of luck with anything lately. We've been so busy dealing with that. This. Looks like it's going good, though. These guys still hate me, but relations are improving. These guys still hate me. Relations are improving. So that extra galactic danger never goes away. Really? But mutual threats is starting to go up. I'm positive in alloys, so that's good. That could change any second, but it's better. Better than where we've been. I'm going to go ahead and get another district here. I really want to get this uh, Empire Capital under control. I can't believe I've lasted this long with what I've been dealing with, actually. I feel like I should have been dead a long time ago. But here we are. Building another city district, housing a few more people, getting a few more people jobs. Any available jobs on these worlds? Nope. But we do have some more available buildings. And I feel like if I can get these, these mining stations up, I could do better as well. We could definitely build that one. This one I know is a little bit more pricier. 270. Oh, 
Oh no, I'm a little bit short. There we go. A few more jobs. And hopefully positive. It's like moving. It's like going all over the place right now. People entering migration treaties. I'm not going to find friends anywhere in this galaxy. I think they all kind of feel the same about me. Let me take a look at like these guys. Yeah, I see that extra galactic danger that doesn't seem to go away will this bad this streak of bad luck ever end I got a construction ship here which I can use to build this mining station that I thought I was already building I'm going to hold off and see if I get the positive. I know we're building this. So we could take this planet. Oh man, this is nice. A lot of farms actually. Low cost mines. A wind park. Yeah, this could be good. Look at this. Oh god, this is terrible. It's just, it's just all the migration treaty proposals. I know you can set what kind of stuff you get popping up here. I might have to do that at some point. Oh boy. A tragic hover car accident recently claimed several lives. But the emergency medical services who responded to the scene were shocked to find the remains of a synthetic among the victims. The unit had been disguised as a Rakari by grafting a thin layer of organic flesh over its metallic endoskeleton. Unlike the previous contingency infiltration models we have encountered, this synth was virtually indistinguishable from a Rakari on the outside. Anyone could be a synth. Old gods approaching, approaching the ISS stately tours entered the central processing system and its crew report that a stellar object not unlike the shrine to the untold is indeed orbiting the star. Okay. So we're going to want to check that out. Situation log updated. And we found the other one here. The spirits have granted us new wisdom. I guess re-entering, which is fine. I'll have to come back to that after I'm done with this excavation site. Breakthrough chance getting up there. What do we got? Hyperdrive 3, okay. FTL speed plus 30%. Research station output, pop growth, happiness, modular workshops. Manufacturer jobs, four minerals, four energy, four consumer goods. Ooh, 32 for 16. Plus 5% metallurgist output for every foundry of same type on this planet. Only accounting for the most common up to four total. Well, that's kind of cool. Let's grab this, though. It's uh, 15 months. actually pretty quick. Do need to get uh, some better research going, though. That's my industry's world. Maybe I'll make a... Maybe I'll make like a... Oh, no. I'll make a... Uh, World that's a, a research world's what I'm trying to say. Tourism district. That's right. This has the nature reserve. This could be a research world. Nature, uh, research and food to make bioreactors. So it could be that as well. Agricultural mining generator district. Okay. And I like the tourism district. I definitely want to fill that right up with the two slots that are available. Costs a lot. This has research complex, which we're probably going to want. This has that garden. Actually, which is even better.
And I want to rename this world at some point. It says the low cost of mines, which are really good. So maybe I'll call this, uh, I'll call this uh, mine world. I'm so creative. I don't know how I do it. Who's uh, going to war? Okay, so people going to war with the, yeah, the Disc Crusaders. Yeah. I figured the least. And once this guy's done researching that, I'd like him to pop up and research this project. Everything's collectively starting to get a little bit more in the positives, which is good. But these migrated trees, oh my God. All right. They're just going to go forever. Until I eventually shut them off. If I can do that. Colony ships heading off. How's our station looking here? She's done. She's ready. New strategic resource. I'll have to take a look at that. Um, I do want to get a asteroid mining team here. And I can do that right now, which is good. So we'll, we'll dump that. So what's the strategic resource? Rare crystals. Okay. That's all the way up there. Man, that's a good system. Some of these systems are really good. That's because they're in the Grand Admiral controlled space of the enemy. Anybody want to give me a research agreement proposal for Christ's sakes? Will these guys trade anything with me? Will they do an active sensor link? Um, oh, they will do it. Okay. And a hundred food will have them do it. So if I do th length in 30 years, okay. Yeah. I think I want an active sensor link with these guys. Now they're not going to give me anything as bad as I would want central processing. They're not going to give it to me and they might give me some energy, but, or some anything, but we're not going to do that. Okay. Hell Yes, that was kind of what I wanted. Wow. Okay, we see everything. That, that's awesome. All 99 empires, everything. No, we don't see the empires yet. Because I can see there's a bunch of question marks of unidentified empires. There's a lot of them. But we can see the whole... The whole layout of the galaxy. So spiral arms, not what I had in mind. It looks nothing like spiral arms. Like literally nothing. Just looks like a mess. There's a lot of bottlenecks, which is good. More identified empires all through here. In fact, there's an unidentified empire right here by the contingency. And I can see oh, they're fighting. They're fighting right now. No freaking way. The Dar are fighting these guys. Oh my God. It looks, oh dude, it looks so good. It looks so freaking good. What do we got? Who's fighting who? The Resolute Security Echelon. Almost a million fighting, fighting 188,000 military power. Dude, they're going to beat these guys. That's great. Almost a million? Jesus. With more on the way. Going right for the sterilization hub. They still got to fight all of the, the areas in there too. Dar defense protocol. No way. Very cool that the Dar defense protocol kicking in on that, giving us a hand. Maybe we can convince these guys. Well, probably not to be our ally, but oh. Yeah, so this is kind of the byproduct of discovering everything I'll 
fix that later. Can't really do it now. Hopefully nothing important comes up that we need to address. We'll kind of just keep an eye on it. The migration treaty proposals are a little ridiculous. Special project complete. There's that there. So science officer uh, Ribrook Addenmost has reported back with the ISS State Lead Tours finding of the Percipient Shrine. They recognize early on that a text in some Lucographic script is inlaid in the walls, heavily distorted by the layers of translucent liquor. Or, uh, liquor, liquor. Oh, God, I can't. I can't say it. Uh, initial attempts at unscrambling the text, relying on the raw processing power of the ISS State Lee's Taurus computers to reconstruct the text from plain images, proved fruitless as it was simply too distorted to place in any known lingual family tree. So, what, where are we going here? So not long after they had the ceiling walls and floor image and a spiral pattern, text from other shrines should help us piece it all together. So it's just about piecing these shrines. And I'm actually going to have have him go ahead and come back here and, and do this research project as well. Because I just want to get all three of these done. And how's building this going? Taking me forever. The game's moving so fast and yet it's moving so slow. Almost done. And my colony ship should be really close to being there. What? No. Okay. I thought that was going to happen forever. Eventually we'll have met all of these guys. And they'll have created migration treaties with all, all of each other. I mean, it's it's no doubt it's going to happen. How's the, how, are these, how are these guys doing, by the way? They look like they're they're fighting. They got to be running into, into problems with these guys over here. As more and more spacefaring civilizations establish formal relations with one another, the galaxy is becoming a vibrant and lively place. To avoid tragic misunderstandings between nations, an increasing number of diplomats have called for the establishment of a new pan-galactic organization, a community, if you will, where the empires of the galaxy can meet to discuss important matters. Should the Rakari Authority pledge its support for the creation of the galactic community? Um, yeah, let's do that. If it'll make people like me, Construction I'm good with that. I want people to like me. Ooh, scientist exposed as synth. An unscheduled medical examination recently exposed a Mart Nak Sheen, one of our leading scientists, as a synthetic infiltrator. The synth killed five security officers, but he could be brought down by a heavy weapons team. A body is yet to be found, but we think the original Mart Nakshin was terminated and replaced at some point during the last six months. To make matters worse, the synth triggered some kind of computer virus at its research console when it realized it had been discovered. Technicians are working hard to contain the damage, but a lot of important research data has been irre irretrievably lost. Damn contingency, making things way harder than it really needs to be. And now I'm losing... Oh, that was one of my best scientists. Okay, let's see what we can get. Well, there we go. That's what we need. We need the energy credits to do that. So here we go. I'm going to grab some extra energy credits anyways, because there's a couple of things I need to do. And that set us behind a bit. 56 months, 1915. So, with the extra energy credits here, let's buy some minerals so I can build a mining station here. And I'll have this colony ship go ahead and colonize that planet. We'll give it a name at some point. Ooh, here we go. Decoding... Ancient data crystals have been found at the dig site chronicling the Grenier's military exploits. While most are local and of little interest, several volumes detail the Grenier's first encounter with an alien species referred to as the bowel organism. Little more can be gleaned about the bowel at this point, save that they were a massive plantoid species and had many colonies seated among the stars. Cool. So we keep digging for that. And we got some artifacts out of it. Which at this point are the lifeblood of my entire civilization and the only reason I've been able to make it this far. 
Okay, maybe that's over. I pray that that is over. It is not over. It has just begun. All right, why don't we continue getting some of this stuff under control now that we're at a good spot. We'll build a mining station here so we can keep that in the positive. Oh, also, crime is at 0%, stability at 17%. Things are looking up. We've got three available jobs here now, two available jobs here, and these ones are still chilling. So let's go ahead and resettle now. So we're starting with Mine World, which was three. What? Decline. I need unemployed right here. What? Cancel ongoing construction. Why? Because I'm moving. Okay. What about to Rock World? Okay, so I'll just hold off a second because obviously the city district being built has something to do with that. Where is my hollow? I did build one. That's the catch. Oh, that's what's producing the artifacts, by the way. I literally couldn't survive without that. Forsaken mainframe, hollow reactor. I thought I built one here. I meant to build one. I messed up. Well, at 85 pop. Oh, if I move more people off of here, I lose the alloy mega forges and I might have actually. Nah, that was 85 pops ago. That was a long time ago. Okay. Yes, I can't move anybody else off of here. So I simply just need to build more city districts and keep this place expanding. So no more moving people. That means that these available jobs will just have to fill themselves, which is fine. It's no big deal. It's a little unfortunate. But I don't want to get rid of the alloy mega forges. So I'm just going to leave that. I could go ahead and Probably, probably upgrade something then. I've, I've got the minerals to do it. That would give me more research jobs and research output. Could also increase consumer goods. We're in the positive now for two out of four. I really got to get energy credits in the positive next. I think if I was to build anything, I'd build another city district here. Just to get housing down, the city district creates clerk jobs. They're not great, but it, it does it. I don't know what's worse, the housing situation, which I guess is affecting stability, or the unemployment situation, which I guess is affecting everything else. Stability, though, is affecting our trade value and resources from jobs by 33%. So if we get rid of the housing situation, then we've, we do a pretty good job of increasing stability. And this is lowering happiness. So we need amenities to go up too. Which means we need consumer goods to go up. Yeah, so we'll just focus on getting another city district built. Let's do it. Keep our guys nice and busy. Construction complete. Perfect. That was the mining, I think. Yeah. So that's going to help even more. Now I can do the orbital power plant as well. Eight alloys. We're getting plus two, so I'm not going to buy them. I'm going to wait till I get those alloys. It'll make me feel really good about myself. Synth detection project. Uh, the special project to devise a detection method for synths. All right, let's take a look. Oh, boy. Let's take a look at it. Oh, boy. All right. I don't want to investigate any other aliens right now. 13,000. That's 235 months. I'm going to ignore that for now. I literally can't do it. We'll leave it be. I want to get all these excavation sites under control, too. I feel like I could go and do some of those maybe outside of my area. Maybe. Where are they? It must be in these areas. I'm not sure. I can't really... 
They're not all within my borders. They're obviously somewhere out here. And look at this. Besides the planet, this has been cleaned up and they're bombarding the planet right now. This is wonderful news. We don't have to worry about the contingency near us. I think the rest of the galaxy has to worry though. The Ambidian's done a wonderful job of spreading. They've actually almost taken these guys out. Pathetic, pathetic, inferior. Yeah, the Ambidian is wrecking these guys. Oh, but these guys could still fight back. All right. And boy, been a while since we've done anything with Unity. Which I can't seem to click on. I'm a Unity gained 107. Go for it. Xenophile ethics attraction plus 50% for 120 months. That seems pretty good for two artifacts. Okay, those guys are weird. Construction complete. Okay, so we're going to investigate that next area. And this area. So it looks like we're moving right in on these last few spots. Minerals back down the negatives. I don't know why. Not everything makes sense. Oh, there's six minerals here. I want those. I definitely want those. Okay, I've got my nine minerals though. I'm gonna I'm gonna go here and or my nine alloys. So I'm gonna go here and do my ash uh I can do another asteroid mining team. So you can keep doing those, but this I don't understand the small fleet focus on the Starbase fortification minus forty percent. I'm assuming it makes the the Starbase weaker. Which is probably not good. And of course, all these systems here, the sy my systems that are choke points also happen to be where the asteroids are. There's some asteroids here. So I could do that system. Not that one though, but this system could be upgraded. So maybe I'll upgrade this one since I can have six of them now. And I'll just put a bunch of I'll put a bunch of those asteroid mining things and just try to generate a ton of minerals out of that system. I won't put any more in the other systems. I'll just let them, um, if anything, I'll actually delete those because I think that is what that does. I think the starbase fortification minus 40% hurts me. It didn't cost me that much. I'm going to get rid of it. I think the hall points actually went up. We can compare 40,000 here. Uh, still the same. 1.5k. Maybe it's not, though. Military firepower, but that's hard to compare because they don't have the gun battery and the missile battery. So let's do that. We'll wait and see. We'll wait and see what that actually does for us. Is there anybody not doing anything? I've got one construction ship just hanging out. I've got positive minerals again. I'm going to send him in to build this mining station. Positive minerals, positive alloys. I've got unemployed pops here, really. All right. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. That means we're ready to go. This is where I'm actually building my alloy foundries. Um... I think I'll just go ahead though and build. I think I'll go ahead and build my hollow theater here now that I wanted to do to get the amenities and stuff up. So I'll have to purchase more minerals to do that. There we go. Every world should have a hollow theater. 
Eventually, when I get the 85 pops in my home world, I gotta do the Hollow Theater. And we'll want a Hollow Theater here as well. And I'm sorry, how much is the Hollow Theater if I build it? 300 here. Can I get that? I can. Oh, whoa, one, one, 100 more. Okay, I was lacking 300. There we go. Yeah, we'll want the temples too. Consumer goods in the Unity Society and amenities. It's pretty good. We just don't have the consumer goods yet though to really justify doing this. Wait, I got an idea. I wanna try something. If I buy consumer goods, will that make everything else shoot up? I've had that happen before. I've been kind of in this situation. Sometimes you end up having the consumer goods to operate things and everything will go up. For example, minerals kind of jumped pretty big there. Project complete. But I don't think that that was really why. Sometimes just having a lack of stuff, like I know having a lack of energy credits is making everything go down, but obviously when we have energy credits, it's not really, it doesn't seem to really be helping and the consumer goods doesn't either. It might help with amenities some though. There could be, there could definitely be a difference. All right, last of that project. Hopefully we'll get something good out of that. And what about the home plan? It's gotta look a little better. It certainly is. We've almost got the housing under control. I think I want to get rid of something to build a... To build a hollow theater. Now, luxury residence actually provides amenities, and I'll probably put these in some of my other areas. The mineral mineral purification plant is pretty important, as well as the two deep core mines. Forsaken mainframe, the monolith, and the catch. We're definitely not getting rid of those. Commercial zone, making amen amenities and trade value. Civilian fabricators, important. The research labs, believe it or not, probably not as important. Just turns consumer goods into research. Actually, that's what bumped up. Research actually bumped up a little bit. And administrative offices, creating two bureaucrat jobs. I'm either waiting for the 85 pop or I'm getting rid of something here. Actually, I think if I fill the districts, if I fill all of these city districts... I get an additional building slot simply because of the, um, because of what I took up there, which I can't get back to that screen for some reason. Why can I not get back to the Unity screen? I don't know. Oh, oh, that, oh, there we go. Okay, so we've almost got that. Yeah, builder of nations, max buildings plus one, max districts plus one, increase housing by 50% on worlds with no free, free districts. Okay, so you get the max buildings and the max districts plus one, but the increased housing by 15% on worlds with no free districts doesn't happen until the districts are filled. That makes a little bit more sense. So we'll want to fill all these districts. That means I'm going to have to actually get rid of some of these. I get some generated districts here. I can actually get four generated districts. Why don't I go ahead and spend my energy on doing that? I don't see why not. I'll do that and that there. And I'll clear both of those. Because at least with the energy... Um, the At least with those two districts, I can... I could get uh, some people working here and, so, and producing some energy, which is the one thing that and consumer goods, two things I'm technically lacking. Okay, I've got 400 energy. What do I want to spend it on before we call it here? 400 energy. I think I'm just going to dump it into more minerals. And anything else I can dump it into, that's it. So minerals and with those minerals... Both my construction ships are busy heading off to build, so I can't build anything. Well, I guess I can sit on them. I'm not producing negative minerals right now, so we'll leave it off there. All right. In this absolutely chaotic galaxy, things are starting to heat up a little bit more. 
Well, I can't expand right now. I could definitely continue to grow tall. My enemy is next to me. Luckily, my economy, I'm able, even with my crappy economy, I'm able to maintain equivalent. And I'm still farther ahead on technology. If I could just get my fleet power under control, I might be able to fight one of these guys here soon. Once my economy is there, there'll be nothing stopping me from building up and taking one of these guys on. I'll just have to decide which one I want to go. Um, yeah, because I'm not really sure. What is this? Jesus, they killed that contingency pretty much. They've handicapped it. They just haven't taken the world. That'd be cool to take. I'll have to pick a direction, though. Oh, looks like they've got some threats coming in, though, of the contingency. So that might not be over just yet. I don't know if that's coming from the other contingency or what. These ones are being allowed to grow and they really shouldn't be. Looks like there's an empire right there and an empire right there. Actually, if I expanded to these guys, that's the next bottleneck. I just realized this isn't connected. So I could ex I could take these guys over and take this whole system and create a bottleneck there. That would probably be the best route to take. Obviously, going through these guys kind of gives me the same scenario here. And even an ability to expand down into here, if I so desire, with a bottleneck of this intersection... So both of these guys seem like valuable routes to take. Now, these guys like me a little bit more. And I'm still improving relations. And it did go over a plus 100. So there's not a cap of 100 on that, which is good. These guys, they hate me beyond anything that's recoverable. I don't know if I ever recovered this either, but I can keep these guys probably in good relations with me. They're allied to the Disc Crusaders who are fairly close and might come to their aid. Very close. The other guys are allied with the other ones who are farther away. So I'll make some decisions when the time comes. With that being said, I want to thank you all for joining me. Hope that you've enjoyed it. I look forward to seeing you next time.